Alright guys, so today I have another leftover bits video for you. Uh, it's from the Beastman Gargon slash Cygor kit. This is definitely one of the coolest kits to get spare bits with. Um, two big sprues of, I think no matter what you make or what bits you use in the model, you're still going to be left over with a lot of cool bits. So uh, let's have a look at the sprues. I'll zoom the camera back down. I just lift it right up because the box was so big. So uh, first off, one of the bits I had already clipped off was this statue. It came in two pieces, but um, you know it's one of the statues he's carrying, and um, you know it's a really awesome bit. You could easily add it to like a scenic base, just you know clean up the hand part on it. And it's pretty awesome. So um, let's have a look at this sprue. This one hasn't got a whole lot on it. But let's see what is on it. Actually, look that bit. So um, first up, yeah, we have the big horns belong to the guy. Now these, if I can get a look at your side, these are awesome. You could easily put these on top of a banner. Um, <clears throat> you know, anything like that. Um, you don't get the like, the headpiece, so you can't make two heads. You can only make one head out of the whole kit. But um, quick look up this way, and there we have the other one. So this one's a bit more detailed. It has a like, barbed wire going around it, holding the horns together, with a few skulls on it. You know, it has the ears with the earrings in it and everything. So really nice looking bit. Um, let's see what else is on it. Oh, you can! Jesus Christ, my mistake. Let me have a quick zoom out. I completely forgot about this bit up here. This is the one. I think this is the Cyber or the Cyclops type of one. So there you have the face, right? And I'm pretty sure this piece here uh, where is, it? is the tongue and everything. So maybe you could, you know, clip it all out. Stick it together, you could have um, a spare head because down on the bottom here you have two jaw pieces where you have the teeth and everything, so it could actually work together. Um, I thought you couldn't, so uh, yeah, so straight off the start, it's pretty cool. You can have a spare head, and um, you have this little dangly skeleton piece, which I love because it's not focusing. Let's have a quick look, come on. There you go. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome. You can go easily on anything. Bass hanging over guy. Scenery. It's pretty awesome. Not a lot of pieces on the sprue. But the pieces that are on it are all pretty cool. So the second one, the second sprue, <clears throat> is the busy one. So let's have a look at the top here. So first up we have... I don't even know what this thing is, it's like a, like a magic rock or something that hangs from his waist or something like that. Um, here you have parts that go over his forearms, I don't, I'm not sure what the name of them would be. Um, here you have the mutated arms that are left over, they're pretty nice looking, you get two of them on that part. Um, the blade that fits onto the wrists. And here you have a rock. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so that's two two pieces that stick together, um, and you get these awesome spare hands. The detail on the spare parts in this kit are awesome. Like these two hands are really well detailed, they're really nice looking, and a really excellent addition to any bits box. And um, you have more iron pieces. You can probably make a couple of arms out of these because he does have the option of having four arms. So um, and here we have. Let's even zoom out. This the big rocky trolls over his head. He gets the rules for like a stone thrower so this is part of that. Um, I don't think there's any hand pieces stuck on it. Not that I can see. No. So any Beastman players out there you know this could be used as a hard stone. You know the magic item. So uh, that's pretty awesome. It has all these like kind of like, magic looking uh, engravings on them. Here you have some more arm spare bits. Now this part I think this went over his shin pad. Um, if I can focus this, 
It's like a Beastman goat head on the front of it. That's pretty awesome. I would stick that on top of a banner. It would look really cool on it. Um, then all that's left in is just whatever's along the top of here. I start up here. You get a, a bell which went around his neck. You get the necklace, the skulls which you can use as anything. I think the bell spare piece is awesome. I think it's really nice. Um, you get more arm bits, so you get plenty of options for the arms and just kind of these skulls on the rope that are dangling down. And just another blade then for the wrists. And then uh, another part that goes over the arm. So, with just two sprues in the box, and don't forget the little um, statue here. It's definitely one of the coolest boxes for spare bits you have. You have the stone, uh, you have the kind of knee pad, shin pad thing with the beastman skull on it. You have options for arms that you can still make. You get two hands, um, a bell that you can make, um, and a, the option for another head maybe. But if not, at least you get two big uh, set of horns that you can put on a banner maybe. And a big jaw piece there as well. So um, definitely a little... Addition, nice little addition for your bits box. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, leave a comment below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. So uh, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.